Hey, soul family, how's it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing wonderful. If this is your first time checking out my channel, what is up, guys? I'm Amy. If you're returning, welcome back. So we're going to dive in. We're going to get some messages from the person, whoever's on your mind, whoever's in your energy. This is going to be that type of message for you guys. But welcome in. I'm Amy. Um, please hit that like button, subscribe. Also hit that notification bell so you guys know when, when I go on live and when I'm uploading new videos for you. So I hope everyone is doing well. The energy feels like um, it's a little better today. But um, still, still some up and down stuff going on, guys. Okay, so bear with me. If it resonates for you, if it makes sense for you, if it's your story, let me know in the comments. Let me know how you guys like this video. If not, that's perfectly okay, too. But what I have going on is whoever this person is for you, whoever's in your energy field, whoever's on your mind, you know what? This person's messed up over you. They have no idea what to do. Like you are like 1616 could be an angel number for some of you, but this person doesn't know what to do. They've never been in a position like this before. And they're, they're going a little cuckoo. Like they, they're drowning. That's the feeling I'm getting. Like this person is drowning over thoughts of you right now. They still care deeply about you. They don't match your energy, vibration off and frequency off. So right now, I feel like you guys are not on the same vibration. You're not on the same frequency. I don't know if you walked away from this person, if you raised your, you know, the bar, if you raised your standards. Um, I don't know what you did, but it's like giving me the feeling of you shook this person right up. Awakened. Wow. That makes a lot of sense. If you walked away from this person, you awaken something within them. You change the dynamic of the connection for this person. Maybe this person never thought you'd walk away. Maybe they thought you'd always be there. But there's like this sense of maybe you pulled your energy back from this person. You just pulled your time, your love. I don't know what it is. But it's like this person's going through some huge shifts right now. They're going through some huge awakening. So they're kind of messed up over you because they're like, what's going on here? I still care for this person. Where is this person? What else can I say as a collective message, please, spirit? What else can I say as a collective message? Wow. Okay. So some of you, this person is thinking about how they want to make love to you. They miss you sexually. They miss being close to you. They miss being intimate with you. They're definitely realizing that what you guys had was real. What you guys had was something unique. Something that they haven't been able to find with anyone else. Reaching out to express how I feel. So some of you, you got a message coming in where I feel like this person is really going to pour themselves out to you. Like they're, they're really going to express what it is that's been going on with them. What's been going on in their hearts. Really openly, like deeply. What else can I say, please, spirit? Let me cook for you. You might get a message about that where I like this person just randomly like, hey, like, do you want to come over later? I'm going to cook for you. Or can you come over later so I can cook for you? Because I generally feel like whoever this is, whoever's in your energy field, whoever's on your mind right now, they do want to have a heart to heart conversation with you. Like they legit do want to see you. They want to spend time with you. They want to be close to you. It's like that sense of them needing to be close to you, wanting to be close to you. This is my home here with you. For some of you, it's like this person's realizing the only time they ever felt like themselves, the only time they felt alive, the only time they felt like um, they were really, really, truly happy was with you when they were next to you, when they were around you. Date nights and flowers. So yeah, I, I, I actually see someone coming through whoever this you know video is. And it's like, not only does this person want to cook for you, but it's like date nights and flowers. You might get unexpected flowers from this person. They might hit you up like, hey, you know, you want to go on a date on Friday night at 8 p.m. or something like it's going to be very specific where it's like you're not even going to see this message coming in. But it's like this person's knowing that there's something here. There's something that they really want to talk to you about. Yeah, let's start fresh. For some of you, this person like knows they need to make it up with you. They need to come through and um, fix the situation. What else does this person want to say to the collective, please? What else does this person want to say? 
They want to take a leap of faith with you. Holy Hannah. Okay. They want to take a leap of faith with you. This is someone that's like, man, I'm not me without this person. Like I need this person in my life. I still care deeply about this person. You know, I am feeling this person. I want to be with this person. I'm craving this person. I'm longing for this person. Like they're, they're going a little crazy over here. Wow. I want to marry you came through. So yeah, like this person has thought about marrying you, wanting to marry you. They know that you are going to be like waifu material or husband material. And it's like, at the end of the day, like they know this is where they need to be. They know, they know they need to be here with you. I'm sorry. Will you accept my apology for some of you? This person's going to be messaging you, calling you and being like, Hey, you know, and I saw five, five, five. So there's transformations and changes coming towards this connection. But this person's going to be like, you know what? I'm sorry for hurting you. I'm sorry for what I've done. Can I make it right? Can we, you know, can, can I cook for you? Can I take you on a date? Can I buy you some flowers? I don't know. I, I feel like an apology is coming toward you guys. Maybe the next 24 hours, 72 hours. Whenever you see this video. All right, let's see. What else can I say as the collective message, please, Spirit? What else can I say? I still love you. Do you still love me? This person is literally going to ask you that. There's someone in your energy field, guys, who's still in love with you. And they want to take a leap of faith to come forward and express themselves towards you because they're messed up. This person is severely messed up over you. They've never walked away from you. They've never stopped loving you. What else can I say, please, Spirit? What else is the collective message here? Yeah, the, may we, the way we made love, I miss her sexy time. So like I said, this person, this is someone that's like, the sex between you guys was good. It was good. And maybe they are realizing that there was something, there was something, there's some sexual soul tie or like, just the sexual connection between you guys is very, very powerful, very connected. What else can I say, please, spirit? Yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't be the person you need me to be. It's like back then, this person was all over the place. I feel like they couldn't give you what it is they want. Like this person couldn't give you what it is that they would know you were deserving of. And this may be something that they even come forward and tell you, like, look, there was a point of my life that I just, I was all over. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what I want. I didn't know if marriage was something that I actually wanted, but it was like meeting you and coming into contact with you and being with you. You know, it just changed my whole dynamic of my life. Mark my words. This is not over. I'm coming back. That's why I said like this person is coming back. They're coming back. You haven't heard the last from this person. What else does this person want to say to the collective? I called my mom and dad and spoke about you. This, this person is literally talking to their mom and dad about you. This may be something that they literally tell you too. Like I have been asking my dad for advice. I've been asking my mom for advice. I've been trying to just get all my ducks in a row. I've been trying to figure shit out. But with all of that, the one thing that has always made sense in my life was being around you, being next to you. All of this other stuff doesn't, you know, even tap into what I was truly feeling for you. Yeah, we're in a soul connection. Maybe this person never believed in soulmates, twin flames. They never believed that you could actually find your person or you could just fall in love so deeply the way they've fallen in love with you. But that that may scare them. And it's like they want to take that leap of faith, but they're just so messed up. But it's like this person hasn't walked away from you. They see marriage with you. They still love you. They miss the sex with you. You know, they want to cook for you. They want to um, be affectionate with you. What else does this person want to say? Fuck, I love you. I told you. Whoever this is for you guys still fucking loves you. All right. Will you marry me? Wow. Okay. And a divine timing situation. So 
you know, mark my words, whoever this is, is going to be coming back to say all of this. Like they are going to be coming back in to say, look, I love you. I know you're my soulmate. I want to take this leap of faith with you. I talked to my parents about you. I just want you to accept this apology. I want to make this right with you. You know, I want to spoil you. You know, they might be coming in and saying all of this stuff to you guys. So if it makes sense, if it's your story, if it helps you guys, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will check in with you guys soon, okay?